Alright, so today we're going to be talking about modded controllers. This video will mainly focus on the Goom Wave since it's the most popular of the bunch, at least at top level. I want to talk about an issue that never seems to be discussed, yet might have the largest negative impact on Melee's accessibility and ability to grow as a competitive game. So GameCube controllers suck for a number of reasons. Many techniques and mechanics suffer from different issues that really shouldn't exist. For example, in Vanilla Melee, in order to do this, you need to move your control stick from here to here in 1 60th of a second, or one frame, just to dash back. This is already a small window to execute, but it gets even harder when you take into account the polling drift bug, which can randomly cause your controller to have an extra half frame of latency. This isn't very reasonable considering how simple the mechanic is. Many characters like Marth, Fox, and Falcon utilize their dash back as a defensive tool to evade certain attacks, but without any sort of fix, this technique becomes very difficult to use effectively. And dash back isn't the only technique that has issues. Shield dropping, SDI, and 1.0 cardinals all suffer from either unnecessarily difficult execution windows or random luck factors. Now modded controllers, such as the Goom Wave, fix these issues, however not without a decent cost. For example, a regular GameCube controller is very affordable to most smashers, and even the more durable and solid ones you can find for less than $100. A Goom Wave motherboard alone costs $150, and notches, which allow you to pinpoint certain angles on the rim of your control stick, cost $125, and these can degrade over time. This creates a disparity between controllers that is maintained by a paywall. If you want a properly functioning controller, you have to pay a considerable amount of money. Remember, these aren't bonus features or anything extra. This is just to be able to play the game without experiencing any issues. I should also mention that box controllers feature many of these fixes as well, however these controllers aren't exactly perfect either. The cheapest one you can get, the Frame 1 Lite, is $150. It's also impossible to buy because Greg Turbo spends more time blocking people on Twitter than recently stocking his products. Basically, usable controllers are only reserved to the people who have the money to afford them. It essentially turns Melee into a pay-to-win game. If I want to tech chase as effectively as possible, I need the ability to dash out of crouch consistently, but I can only do that with a modded controller. This has matchup defining implications as characters like Sheik or Falcon may struggle to deal with Fox or Falco if they can't tech chase effectively. No matter how you slice it, a regular GameCube controller user will always be at a disadvantage to a Goom Wave or Box. So what is the solution to this problem? It's 1.03. 1.03 is a software mod that fixes all of the issues that plague controllers in Melee. In simplest terms, it turns everyone's controller into a Goom Wave for free. Despite being nothing short of revolutionary, the community seems to be very tentative to implement it into the community. Why is that? The community already uses a software mod called Universal Controller Fix, or UCF, which fixes some of the issues, but not all of them. The only fixes included in UCF are Dash Back, Shield Drop, and Wiggle Out of Tumble. There are no fixes to 1.0 Cardinals, Dash Out of Crouch, Vertical Throws, or SDI, and it also doesn't come with a Z Jump remapper either. Even with UCF, a modded GameCube controller or box will always be superior to a standard controller. If all of the fixes included with a Goom Wave are not present in UCF, then it's safe to say that UCF is an incomplete project as it fails to, well, universally fix controllers. But with 1.03, we can more adequately level the playing field for everyone. It even has a Duraki wall jump fix, like how can you not love this? Also, let's not forget that modded controllers can have issues as well, like the whole Summit 12 debacle last year, where many players were experiencing issues with their Goom Wave only to later find out that there were different branches of the code going around and the lead software developer was completely radio silent on the issue. With a mod like 1.03, we wouldn't have these types of logistical issues. In conclusion, 1.03 takes the controller fixes and modifications that you usually have to pay money for and makes them free for everyone. Yet instead of endorsing it as a game-changing and revolutionary idea, it seems as though, at least at the top level, no one is advocating for its implementation. So I ask, why do we have to gatekeep functioning controllers behind a paywall? Why can't they be accessible to everyone? Why make Melee pay to win? Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.